Hi, welcome back to my channel, Candle Fluffy Performs Reviews. Today I'm sharing with you all the candles that I was able to finish in the month of July 2021. I have eight candles here. They're all Bath and Body Works three wicks, and I bought them all with my own money. So the first one here I'm going to talk about is Sweater Weather. And Sweater Weather is Eucalyptus, Juniper Berry, and Fresh Sage. This was poured in 2013. Here is the inside. This candle did burn a little hot, but despite the fact that it was older, it was still plenty strong. You know, probably seven and a half, eight. I really enjoy this scent. I burn it year round. You can smell the eucalyptus and the sage, and it's just a nice, fresh, crisp smell. I'm gonna continue to buy that one as probably as long as they make it. And I always keep several in my stash. Okay, so then I have brown sugared apples. And it is sweet baked apples drizzled with brown sugar crystals and the perfect touch of spice. This is from 2013 also it appears. Here's the inside. I don't think it gave me any trouble. It was kind of a, uh, you know, six to seven in the strength and throw department. I believe I bought this candle when you could buy them from the test stores over the phone. So I have, I think, two more of these. I wish they'd come back out with this scent. It's a good scent. And it's a little bit different from this next one I'm going to share with you, which is Warm Apple Pie. And Warm Apple Pie is baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and the flaky homemade crust with essential oils. So this one has the crust note that the brown sugared apples doesn't have. And it's probably a little bit um, weaker. Now they did make a warm apple pie room spray at one time and it was really good. And I've got it in the wallflower plug-in too, but I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how good that is. Here's the inside. Uh, I think I did have to cotton ball this a couple times with that red wax. And it's it's about a six in its strength and throw. I have another one of these, I think, in this packaging. And I just ordered one. So I do enjoy that scent, and I like to have it around. Now the next one is kind of bit the dust here, but this is a Love Every Bunny Sweet Carrot Cake. I have to be real careful because it broke. But you look at that inside. I mean, that's almost to like the Hall of Shame with all that soot and nastiness. Now the scent's okay. It, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Banana Walnut Muffin. And then that... Uh, Toasted cupcake or cinnamon spice cupcake. I don't know the other one. They, they all kind of smell a little similar. The strength I'm through on this one I think was about a seven. And I was able to pick up one more of these in the store. And then I think maybe one more on 75% off. I don't think it really smells like a carrot cake. But it is a good scent. So this next one is pomegranate lemonade and it's juicy pomegranate zested lemons, sugar crystals, and essential oils. Uh, the pour date on this one is last year, I think. And look at that label in the jar. I mean, that's nice. Here's the inside. It didn't give me any problems. Um, this is probably like a seven or so in the strength and throw department. And this technically is an old scent that they re-released, um, you know, when they made this version. I don't have any of the older ones 
Well, if I do it, I don't think I could get to them. <laughs> I don't think I do, though. But um, this is a nice thing. It varies from watermelon lemonade because it's pomegranate. So it's definitely worth getting if you see it and you like that kind of scent. Then the next one we have here, I was going to do a review on this separately, but I never got around to it. Uh, this is the Wild Berry Jam Donut. And it's sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crumble with essential oils. Now, let's look at the inside. This one you really had to watch because it kind of burned hot. Um, I've got a lot of soot on the outside of the well, inside of the jar. And strength and throw on this was probably seven and a half to eight. Now, to me, this candle reminded me of a note you get from the PB&J candle. Kind of with the greasiness of the campfire donut candle. And maybe a hint of something that's in the blueberry pie candle. So, you know, it was okay. I, I bought one more of these. But I didn't just totally love it like everybody was. Now this pink watermelon candle I'm going to show you next. And pink watermelon is juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, lime zest, and essential oils. Here's the inside. I got a little bit of soot residue on there. This candle... It kind of smells like a honeydew or something on cold, so I almost didn't get it because I don't like that scent. But um, a reviewer kept raving about it, so I went ahead and tried it. And I'm glad I did. This was a good, strong candle, probably at eight. Um, and it's different than watermelon lemonade because obviously it didn't have the lemon. And just a nice, sweet... Uh, Jolly Rancher type candle. I would get it again. And I've got maybe two um, in backup. Now the next one is probably my favorite out of all these. from Well, at least from the season anyway. <clears throat> this is the Orange Pineapple Punch. Tart orange juice, sweet pineapple, and vanilla sugar cane. Complete with a finger on the bottom. Looks like. No, that might just be the jar. But anyway, I think it is a hair. Here's the inside. This candle was wonderful. It was like at least at eight in the strength and throw department. You know, it has that orange. You smell the pineapple. Um, kind of like a colada scent without the coconut. This candle.